Good morning, everyone. This is Dan with the Bike Nation. Welcome to my channel. Hey, we're going to get out and ride the Ranger today. This is my 52-volt, um, 20-amp-hour, 26-by-4-inch fat tire bike. It's got a 750-watt uh, Bafang motor on the back. It's got hydraulic brakes, uh, Logan hydraulic brakes. And it's also got 180 millimeter um, rotors. And it's also got the battery sitting right here in the down tube. So yeah, we're going to get out and ride and uh, give this thing a run today. And uh, I'll see you out. Okay, folks, we're going to get back up here on the road here and head to the trail. I just wanted to get a little bit of drone footage without uh, taping it. So I uh, got a little bit here in the parking lot, and now we're going to head up to uh, to the trail. Again, it's a little bit misty out here today. You'll see me cleaning that camera lens off every now and then. It was just supposed to be cloudy today, but it is not cloudy. Well, it is cloudy, but it's uh, more misty than anything. We've had a uh, cold rain front. Well, not cold, but just a rain front all week. This is Friday, and it's been cloudy all week. So, we're hoping things change up here a little bit. I actually got the light here. I do not have turn signals on this one, so got to use my hand signals. So we'll hop on the trail right here. I tell you, this bike has got great torque. It'll climb you right up these hills with throttle only with no problem. So I'm climbing probably a 10 degree hill here maybe. And I'm uh, increasing speed as I'm climbing. Hey, if you guys have not went out and visited the uh, Cyrusher uh, bikes, I highly recommend you do that. Again, this is the Cyrusher Ranger. This is their 26 by 4 inch fat tire bike. It's got a 750 watt Bafang rear hub motor. It's got a 52 volt 20 amp hour battery in the down frame. It's got Logan hydraulic brakes. It's got a nine speed uh, shifter. I believe it's a Shimano shifter. Got some uh, decent headlights on it. No tail lights, that's the only downside of it. It did also did not come with fenders or a rack. So you'll have to buy those aftermarket. Again, I love this torque sensor because you got to put effort in them, into them pedals. You're not going to ghost pedal on this bike unless you're going to get up to pedal assist five and maybe uh, get to 25 mile an hour. But this bike will give you a workout with this torque sensor. You got to put pressure on them pedals to tell that uh, controller what to do with that motor. But yeah, it's a real comfortable bike to ride. It's got dual suspension with air shocks. And that's very important, uh, especially when you hit these bumps up here I'm about to get on to and 
I've been across them before. This bike handles these bumps really well. Where the uh, roots of the trees are coming up on the trail and they need to get them flattened down, but we're gonna be coming up on that here shortly. Now, the only downside and no fenders, I mean, the trail's not really wet. It's a little wet and I can see a little water coming off my tires and that's gonna come up on me without any fenders. But I think this bike looks really cool without fenders on it. We'll call it a rad looking bike. Coming up on these bumps I was telling you about. Really smooth over those. Again, I'm putting all my bikes in rotation. So uh, you're gonna see a bike pretty much every day. It's different. But I already had this bike on a 46 mile ride and I still had about 15% of the battery left when I got back. And this battery, or I weigh 225 and then I got my backpack. You can add another 10 pounds for that. And I was in pedal assist three most of the way like I am now. And uh, this is a really comfortable speed for me. And I found out eighth gear seems to do the most comfortable for me as well. Now that may change with anybody's uh, liking or preference. But yeah, check out Ranger's um, different bikes they have. I own three of them now. I own the Cy Rusher Komodo, which I purchased for them. They sent me the Cy Rusher Ovia, which is a 20 inch fat tire bike, like the uh, Komodo is a 20 inch fat tire bike. And then they sent this one to me, the Ranger. And this is a 26 by four inch fat tire bike. It's got Kenda Crusade tires on it. But as you can see with this torque sensor, I'm averaging 19, 20 mile an hour very easily. I'm trying to remember to wipe off that lens with my glove as I'm going along here, so you'll see that occasionally. Hope the audio is good today. I I got my DJI mic on and plugged into my GoPro camera, so hopefully you'll get a good uh, some good audio today. I had some muffled videos on some previous videos because it was so cold out. It was 10 to 15 degrees, and I was wearing my face covered bavaca, and uh, people said I sounded really muffled. I didn't really pay attention to that much on the ride, but. After I went back and watched it, they were right. But I wanted to get out and review the Ranger a little bit today. It's been a while since I've had it out. I wasn't able to get out for over a week because of the really cold weather. Then we had rain all this week, so I had not been able to get out and ride too much. Again, I'm cruising along about 20 mile an hour in pedal assist three. That is a really comfortable speed for me. I've got an extra battery for this. So uh, I could throw it on my backpack and I'd be able to ride uh, probably 50, probably 60 miles on this bike, maybe 70. 
We'll do that once it warms up a little bit. This bike I am not getting rid of. This bike is a keeper. This is my favorite 26-inch bike for sure. I've been reaching out to uh, Aerial Rider. They said they was going to send me a 26-inch bike like this one called the Kepler. But they were supposed to send me information on shipping, and I have not heard a word back in almost two weeks. So keep in mind with these manufacturers, that's why I don't put videos out on stuff I'm getting. Until you see that tracking number, that, that bike is not yours, not yet. So a rider, if you're watching this video, at least you could reach back to me and tell me, no, we changed our mind. But I've asked you several times now, and you just won't reach back to me. I would love to review the Kepler, and I'd give it a fair and honest review. But I'm not going to beg you for the bike either. Because I've got these videos lined up. And uh, I've only got a video a day coming out. And sometimes I've got them 10 or 12 days into the queue that you may see the video. So once I get uh, their bike, if I get it, it may be another eight to 10 days before I can get that uh, reviewed. And that's with any e-bikes I get in. I promise every bike company 10 quality videos to unboxing, to assembly, to riding, to range test, to all of it. So I try to put out at least 10 good videos for my uh, viewers. I got three bikes for sale here local. I won't ship them, but if you want to come maybe 100 mile distance, 200, whatever you want, if you want a really good bike on an e, or a price on an e-bike, I'm selling my Juiced Rip Current S. It's a, a 26 by four inch fat tire bike. Really cool bike. I've got that for sale. I've got my Cy Rusher Blix Bike -a Plus, my 20-inch uh, fat tire bike. I got it for sale. A woman was supposed to buy it, but I have not heard back, so I'm going to put it back up for sale. And I've also got my Magnum Metro X. It is a... Um, 20 by 3 inch fat tire bike. I'm sorry, 26 by 3 inch fat tire bike. It's a pretty cool bike. It's for sale as well. On your left. So if you guys are interested in any of those bikes, leave a comment down in the uh, comment section and I'll uh, get you a price on it. I don't put prices on my channel. And once I put a price on a bike, it's pretty much firm, too. I will negotiate a little bit, but not much. Most of these bikes are pretty much brand new when you're getting them. Other than me doing the riding and doing the reviews on them. So, if you guys are in the Dayton, Cincinnati, Columbus area, whatever, Indianapolis, that's close enough. And you guys are looking for a good quality uh, e-bike, let me know. I will be listing them up on uh, Marketplace here shortly. So if you guys are watching this video and you'd like a chance at one of these bikes, let me know before I list it, list it on Marketplace. That's going to happen within a week or so. I did sell the uh, Opta bike. Uh, they paid for it probably two weeks, three weeks ago and still haven't come picked it up. So. I'm not sure what's going on there, but it's paid for, so the Optibike is out of the mix. Haven't seen no bikes yet today. I guess the uh, rainier weather keeps people away. On your left. I did change the seat out on the Ranger. 
it was not as comfortable as my blue wind seats that I buy. I've got a brand new one waiting to go on a bike. I'm just waiting for the bike to put it on that I really uh, want to put it on. But I definitely wanted to put one on this Ranger because it's a much more comfortable seat. And if I'm going to do a 30 to 40 mile ride sometimes, I want a comfortable seat. Or a saddle, you can make call it. It's really called a saddle. We call them bike seats. It's really a bike saddle. Got the highway off the right of us here, and that's what you're hearing. Them sirens going on there. We're probably going to end the video up the next intersection and uh, start a new one. I should be able to get three to four videos out of this uh, ride today. I'll edit all of them and uh, load them up in the queue with the rest of them. But yeah, it's in the 40s out here today. It's probably 10 degrees colder today than yesterday, but I'm dressed for it. And uh, very light breeze today, so that's not really a factor. But this mist is a factor when it's hitting my camera. Trying to keep out as clean as I can. This bike was highly rated on uh, a hill climb test, I watched a video, a guy out of five bikes that he uh, did this really steep hill. This one come out on top. So if you want a climber, this is gonna be your bike. Again, this bike can also be used for off-road. I don't like doing a whole lot of off-road riding. I will in the summer when it's not bad out, not muddy. I'll get out and get a, do a little trail ride off-road. But for the most part, I'm going to be doing street riding and downtown riding and trail riding like I'm doing here. But this bike is extremely quiet. I mean, you can hear the motor, but not a whole lot. What's really cool about this bike uh, when I bought, when I, they sent it to me, it takes the same battery as the Cyrusher Ovia. The Cyrusher Ovia's got a 52 volt 19 amp hour battery. This one's got a 52 volt 20 amp hour battery and they fit perfectly together in the uh, frame. So that was a win. I didn't have to buy another battery for either bike. So again, I want to thank Cyrusher for sending this bike to me and uh, the other one as well. You did send me two out of three, and uh, I, I, I really appreciate it, and I'm humbled that you uh, chose me to uh, review your bikes. And I'd be more than happy to see more, do more reviews for you in the future. And I will be on all three of the bikes I already own for your company. And if you want to send me uh, another one, hey, I'm much appreciated, of course. None of my Cyrusher products will be sold. They're quality built bikes. Uh, they have several in the lineup. I think they got like seven or eight of them. Now they got a dual motor one. I haven't done a lot of research on those yet. They got uh, three step throughs, I think now. But this bike maybe is definitely my favorite 26 inch bike that I own. And I own four of them. Okay, right here is where we're going to stop this video and we're going to start a new one up and I want to thank you guys for watching this video and share and like and subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell notification and I will see you guys on the next video.